right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Sean O'Malley. Well, scary to think that Sugar Sean O'Malley is just getting started because the Sugar Show is most definitely a thing here in 2018. And O'Malley has lived up to the hype every step of the way. There was a lot of fanfare when he came on to Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. And he has yet to slip up in a couple of UFC appearances. He's got every skill in the book. Still a developing fighter in a lot of respects, but this is a special striker and a fighter who likes to put on a show for the fans. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. So here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee. I'm a Bruce. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Our tail of the tape for this bantamweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA. Sugar Sean O'Malley! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. Dragon! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Dateline Las Vegas, Nevada. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. Whoa! Big straight punch. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh! This could be it. Wow, he is throwing some huge kicks here. 
Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina. His oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Very nice. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. a gigantic kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed in time kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Check out this angle here. Ba boom And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?